Push-pull is really a revolutionary command. Don't get me wrong, every 3D program has the ability to extrude, but push-pull makes this process of going from 2D to 3D so easy and so intuitive that it makes SketchUp a joy to use. I'll push-pull this box up simply by pressing P to activate the tool, and I'll click on the surface, and then click again to set the height. As with the rectangle and circle tools, there are two ways to push-pull. You can either click to start push-pulling and then type in a height, or you can click and push and pull and then type in a height afterwards. There's also an option to create new geometry when you push and pull. I'll click to start pushing and pulling and then I'll press the option key on the Mac. This would be the control key on the PC. There's actually a bug in the Mac version which references the PC shortcut right here. It's actually the option key on the Mac. In any case, when I do this, the original geometry right here on this ring is left behind. I'll do that on the box as well. I'll click to start the operation, press the option key to leave the original geometry behind. This gives me the ability to separate faces and now I can push and pull these independently. Push-pull is the tool for turning plans into buildings. I'll push-pull this surface up and type in 8 feet to set the ceiling height. Next, I'll push-pull this wall up and match the height by clicking a point along the top edge of this wall. That way I can avoid having to type in 8 feet every time. An even faster way is simply to double-click on a surface, and that will push-pull up to the last value that was used. So in this way, I can quickly create some architecture from a series of surfaces in plan. The one limitation of push-pull is that it doesn't work on curved surfaces. Take these two surfaces for example. There's actually no problem with push-pull at this point. I can push-pull these things up, and they do self-intersect, but that's not really a problem. I can go in with the eraser tool and erase these surfaces, and I can heal this by drawing a line across here. The problem comes when your surfaces have any smoothed or softened edges. I'll use the eraser tool here and hold down the option key to smooth that surface. Now there's no longer a shading change here. It appears like it's one curved surface. But if that's the case, I can no longer push-pull it. I get this circle with the line through it, indicating that it's not possible to push and pull that up.